Hello everyone, this is Chandrasekhar welcoming you all to this daily dose series for civil and mechanical engineers. In this series, as you all know, we bring the most important concept or the question and try to make it simple and easier for you to understand. And in today's session, I will be discussing about one of the important concepts of fluid mechanics that is application of momentum equation through the question. I will discuss a wonderful question and we will talk about the application of the momentum question through that particular question. For those who are meeting me for the very first time, this is my quick introduction. I am having more than 10 years of teaching experience in the field of GATE, IES and PSUs. And I have also cleared engineering services examination. I am mechanical engineering graduate from IIT Delhi. So let us discuss about the question. The question says there is a tank and a deflector which are placed on a frictionless trolley. The tank issues water jet which strikes the deflector and turns by 45 degree. If the velocity of the jet which is leaving the deflector is 4 meter per second and the discharge is 0 0.1 meter cube per second, what will be the force recorded by the spring? Tank and deflector both are placed on the trolley and the options are provided as 100 Newton, 100 under root 2 Newton, 200 Newton or 200 root 2 Newton. So let us first understand because the spring is connected to the trolley and the trolley is having tank and a deflector placed on it. So the spring can either elongate or it can compress. So only the spring can experience the force which is acting in a horizontal direction or x direction. So that is why we are supposed to apply the momentum equation for the fluid only in x direction because the force which is developed in y direction will not be recorded by the spring at all. All right. Now, because the tank and deflector both are placed on the trolley and trolley is connected with the spring. So that is why if we select our control volume, including the tank and the deflector to apply the momentum equation in X direction. So because there is no fluid entering into the, into the control volume, mass flow rate entering is zero into the control volume. So what is the initial momentum per second of the fluid in x direction? So we can say P initial for the fluid in x direction will be zero because there is no mass entering and there is a velocity V which is leaving after the deflection from the deflector. So the final momentum of the fluid in x direction let me call this angle 45 degree as theta. So final momentum will be rho into Q into V into cos theta. Do you agree? Theta is 45 degree. So as the final momentum of the fluid is greater than initial momentum of the fluid. Final momentum of the fluid in X direction is greater than the initial momentum of the fluid in X direction. That is why there is a force exerted on the fluid in positive X direction positive x direction there is a force exerted which is equal to final momentum minus initial momentum of the fluid per second rate of change of momentum is equal to force exerted and according to newton's third law the force is exerted on the fluid in positive x direction so we can say the same amount of the force will be exerted on the spring in a negative x direction so there will be a compression in the spring the force in the spring will be compressive and the magnitude will remain same spring force will be compressive that is equal to rho q v cos theta isn't it same amount of force so there is a compression if we put the values rho is 1000 into q is 0 0.1 v is 4 cos 45 is equal to 1 by root 2. So it will be 400 by root 2 or we can call it as 200 root 2 Newton and this is compressive. There is a compressive force exerted on the spring. Alright. 
So if we slightly modify the question, if the deflector is not on the trolley, only the tank is on the trolley, then what will be the force which is experienced by the spring? So because the tank is only on the trolley, so our control volume will be the tank. The fluid in the tank will be the our control volume. So there is no mass entering into the control volume. Initial mass is zero. Final mass is leaving with the velocity V. So we can say initial momentum of the fluid in x direction will be zero. Final momentum of the fluid in per second in x direction will be simply rho q v. So because final momentum of the fluid is greater than initial momentum of the fluid. So there is a force on the fluid in positive x direction. The force on the spring in positive x direction will be rho q v. And according to Newton's third law, there is an up equal and opposite force exerted on the spring, which is compressive, which is same as F F force on the fluid. So in that case, the spring force recorded is compressive in nature. The magnitude will be rho q v. Rho is 1000, q is 0 0.1 into v is 4 meter per second. So it is 400 Newton. It will be 400 Newton and the nature will be compressive. Right? Now if I slightly modify the question again, if the tank is not on the trolley, but the deflector is only on the trolley and deflector is on the trolley and trolley is connected to the spring. So the, whatever the force developed on the deflector will be experienced by the trolley and the same exp, uh, the force will be transferred to the spring. So in that case, our control volume will be the deflector only. So in this case, we can say there is a fluid entering into the control volume in x direction. So initial momentum of the fluid in x direction will be rho q v and the final momentum of the fluid in x direction will be equal to rho q v cos theta. As we know, final momentum of the fluid is less than initial momentum of the fluid. So there is a force on the fluid in negative x direction, negative x direction. And the magnitude will be the difference of this rho q v minus rho q v cos theta. And according to Newton's third law, there is a force exerted on the spring which is tensile or there is an elongation in the spring. So spring force will, will be uh, extensive or uh, extension in the spring will take place or we can call it as elongation of the spring will take place and the force on the spring which is tensile in nature will be equal to rho q v minus rho q v cos theta. So that will be rho q v that is 400 into 1 minus 1 by root 2 newton. Right? And because the in the previous question, in the original question, tank and deflector both are on the trolley. So there is a compressive force exerted on the spring due to the tank that is equal to rho q v and there is a tensile force or elongation force exerted on the spring due to the deflector that is rho q v minus rho q v cos theta isn't it and the net force because tank and deflector both are on the trolley so f spring net spring force will be equal to f s compressive minus f s elongation so that will give rise to rho q v cos theta only that is how we can get the same answer and it is 400 by root 2 or we can call it as 200 root 2 newton the nature will be compressive i hope you have understood all the parts of this question and you should be able to apply the momentum equation in a particular direction that is all from my side for the session uh, I will bring more such beautiful concept through this uh, daily dose series very soon. Till then, enjoy. Take care. Have a good day. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much.